This is the AOPIC 500X digital microscope with 4.3 inch screen. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the instruction manual, the base for it, this is the holder for the scope which also allows you to raise and lower it. This is the column, support column for everything. Here is the scope itself. That's the part it sees out of. That's the part you see in. Very simple like that, just a little box. Real easy to control. Five buttons on there. USB charge port and a micro SD card slot. And over there you can control the brightness of the lights. And focus ring down there. I'll show you that in more detail in a bit. Charging and data cable, USB to USB-C. Over here is a little lens cleaning cloth, just like that. Let me tell you a little bit about this first. I'll show you how it goes together, and then we'll test it out. This is a digital microscope, of course. It's got a 4.3 inch IPS type display for very clear images. This can record pictures as well as videos from what the scope sees. There is enough storage built into this for 100 photos but no videos. However, you can put a card in there up to 32 gigabytes that will allow you to take up until the card's full. Pictures and videos. How many is that? However many fit. I don't know. A lot more than 100. I'll tell you that much. Season 1080p. You can lower that resolution down if you want, but there's no real need to in this day and age. And there are eight LEDs to illuminate the subject. We're going to see that in a bit. And again, you can control the brightness right there with it. This also can connect to a computer, either PC or Mac. And by doing that with the USB cable, which will also allow you to charge, you can get the appropriate software outlined in the manual and let you view everything that you'd see on this little screen on a much bigger screen. And if you have your PC hooked up to an even larger screen, mirrored for example, it can output there and then you could see really, really big. But we need to put this together. This is the way it goes for the scope. The scope just goes right in there. Okay, real nice and easy. For the back of it, undo that guy. Stick it down from the top. If you don't have that opened up enough, it's not going to go all the way. Tighten that down, not too tight. Take the base. And then you could just jam that on down in there. Here's your scope. You can turn it. The whole thing will turn if you want. And we can use the knobs over here to raise and lower the scope, as you see right there. If you want to lower it even closer, you can just loosen the nut on the back right there. But we're going to pick that back up. We'll turn it back around. Kind of lock it down. And just like that. And you can also focus right over here. Let's put something in here and see what it sees. All right, I got a nickel in there. We'll start with that. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. That's not great. So we're going to fix that by turning the focus wheel. Aha! And get it right in focus. There you go. We can adjust the brightness. 
the microscope compensates for that, but you don't need it at the highest brightness to see it. In fact, you could shut it completely, and that's just with the room lights right there. Now, I've seen um, reviews of this, and people apparently forgot that this can record video. So instead of my pointing the camera at the screen, I'm going to record video onto the micro SD card, and I'll put that into this video so you can see the actual quality of it instead of looking through a lens which is looking through a lens which is looking through a lens. So here is video that it recorded onto a micro SD card that I inserted. Here's that same nickel from before. I'm just focusing that and take a look once I get that locked in. Very, very clear focus right there. You can clearly read all of the inscriptions right there. Flipping the coin over, I'll turn that around and there you go. You can definitely use this for coin collecting and see if there are any imperfections in say an old coin if that's the kind of thing you're into. Right here I've just shut out the uh, LED lights that are in there and that's what it looks like under just plain room light like that. Now onto a penny that's copper and once again we'll get that right into focus there and you can see it there it looked nice and shiny to me but apparently it's dirty didn't look that way in real life flipping that around we can see the back there and of course the inscriptions and now in this shot right here I've moved the scope down as close as possible to it to achieve the maximum magnification level and we'll get that focus locked right in and there you go right there we'll just pan side to side quickly and you can certainly see everything in very very great detail and here is a stick of RAM an old 256 megabyte DDR2 chip you can clearly see all of the traces on the circuit board and the components as well as the connector edge right there. There's some of the chips that are on it, other solder pads, and the label. So once again this was the AOPIC 500X digital microscope with 4.3 inch screen. If you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.